become indispensable in performing just about any task at the start a man named Stripe dreams about a beautiful woman soon he wakes up and it is revealed that Stripe is a new military recruit. He is set to go on a mission with his squad which includes a female soldier named Hunter Raymond and an arrogant soldier Leonard why the Leonards always have to be so arrogant Stripe's team has been tasked with checking out an infestation of roaches in a nearby village roaches are pale snarling humanoid monsters with sharp teeth apparently these creatures are vicious and they prey on innocent people. It is Stripe's first field day after his training so he is nervous and scared but when Raymond encourages him he gets riled up shortly after the squad arrives at a village which has just been looted by a bunch of roaches the terrified villagers try to explain the situation but they speak in a different language which the soldiers can't comprehend so the group's commander Medina takes out a translator and starts interrogating the villagers she eventually learns that the roaches escaped in the direct section of someone named Pan. Haydekapan is a solitary religious freak who is apparently suffering from mental health issues the locals claim that he let roaches cross his land and even left out food for them in the meantime Stripe individually speaks to the villagers and promises to one of them that he will try his best to keep them safe suspecting that Pan is helping the roaches the soldiers head out for his compound it is then revealed that each soldier in the military has a neural implant called mass embedded in their brain which provides data via AR or augmented reality mass also helps the military and strategic operations soon the squad reaches Pan's large compound and plans their raid using holographic maps and data displays which each soldier has access to thanks to the implants in their brains Medina Stripe Raymond and Leonard are in charge of talking to Pan and searching the main house while the others are assigned with raiding the nearby outer buildings executing their mission Medina knocks on the door and demands to inspect his home a few seconds later a scared parent answers and it appears as if he is the only one home although reluctant at first he Let's the soldiers inside his house Raymond and Stripe quickly go about searching upstairs while Medina and Leonard interrogate Pan after talking to him for a bit Medina notices some religious symbols decorating the walls this makes her realize that Pan is simply looking out for the roaches because of some religious beliefs that all living species must be protected she attempts to disabuse him of this notion by discussing the supposed sickness in the roach blood which doesn't care about ideals of common humanity. She also tells him that the roaches need to be exterminated if humanity is going to survive Medina is starting to sound a lot like a Hitler meanwhile Stripe and Raymond search the room upstairs to check for any roaches they come across a hidden room and decide to split up in one room Stripe sees a blanket with multiple shadows behind it when he lifts the blanket he finds three terrifying roaches. There the roaches appear to be pale humanoids with sharp teeth flattened noses and discolored eyes Voldemort would be proud one of them holds up a mysterious device with a green light stripe immediately shoots one in the head and starts tussling with another as the creature attempts to bite him he draws out his knife and stabs the roach in the chest even after it is dead. A disturbed stripe continues stabbing it after the encounter he examines the mysterious green light device and experiences a flash which causes a slight strain in his eyes as Raymond rushes to help him she has knocked down the stairs by an escaping roach at the same time Pawn attempts to stab Medina but he is easily subdued and taken into custody before heading back to their base Medina decides to set the compound on fire which also destroys the mysterious green light device the next day Raymond is seen practicing her sharp shooting against roach targets so that none get away the next time. It is evident that she is envious of a newbie like Stripe killing two roaches on his first day soon Stripe arrives and joins in on the exercise he aims at his target but suddenly his neural implant glitches and he ends up missing this worries Raymond but Stripe insists that he is fine however during push-up exercises. His neural implant continues to glitch which affects his performance Medina notices this and orders him to see a doctor resolving to get to the bottom of the issue Stripe follows his commander's orders and goes to the military hospital the doctor runs a diagnostic test on Stripe's implant but fails to find anything wrong after a while Stripe tries to open up about the green device which he found at Pan's compound but the doctor doesn't understand anything and simply refers to a person called Arquette it turns out Arquette is a resident military psychologist he suspects that Stripe's problem may have something to do with the fact that he killed two roaches brutally. He also claims that a few days of proper rest should resolve everything before parting ways Arquette promises to Stripe an extremely good sleep by programming something special for his dreams that night this dream involves the return of Stripe's recurring fantasy of the beautiful woman surrounded by flowing drapes this time though it's more intense the lights are red and she asks him to have coitus with her Stripe gives in and the two have a wonderful time but just then the glitch turns up again. Forcing him to wake up he sits up up in his bunk and looks over his comrades who are all peacefully sleeping. 
The following day Stripe Raymond and Medina are back in the village helping out with food and supplies there Medina informs the group that a piece of information was extracted on the roach whereabouts from Pan hence the squad heads out to the said location to perform a reckon after a while the trio arrives at an abandoned area and plans their reckon with the help of a drone and their mass implants as the group continues discussing Stripe's implant glitches out yet again and malfunctions. Suddenly he realizes that he can smell the grass which he could not before when the implant was working he tries to explain it to Raymond but she simply ignores him all of a sudden shots are fired and Medina is struck in the head instantly killing her despite the setback Raymond somehow retrieves the drone from the crossfire and uses it to locate the shooter it turns out that the roaches are holed up in a room with a stolen rifle stripe seems distraught but Raymond decides to make their way into the compound providing cover fire for each other Stripe who is still confused and dizzy after the implant stopped working reluctantly agrees and follows his comrade there the two find a kind of makeshift electronic workshop probably the source of that green light device from earlier shortly after Stripe finds something even more surprising he sees a normal looking woman hiding out in one of the rooms begging for her life she doesn't look like a roach so Stripe tells her to get out of there promising not to hurt her she slowly backs into the hallway attempting to flee but shockingly Raymond shoots her dead this stunned Stripe and he questions why she killed a civilian but she simply brushes him aside and moves forward going on a killing spree mowing down all the roaches in the building strangely from Stripe's perspective all the roaches she kills look like normal humans which shocks him even more Raymond then proceeds to kill a frightened mother-son duo but before she can do so Stripe intervenes and knocks her unconscious sadly he also gets shot in the process after a while he staggers to his feet and escapes with the mother and son while profusely bleeding as Stripe leads them to safety Raymond wakes up and witnesses them getting in the military vehicle and fleeing after having been shot in the belly and losing a lot of blood. Stripe passes out behind the wheel making the car come to a complete stop in the middle of the woods then the woman drags Stripe into her small hidden cave made up of twigs and dirt and begins to treat his wound he soon regains consciousness and gets startled by the woman applying bandages on his wound. The woman introduces herself as Katerina and her son is Alec. She then drops a major revelation it turns out that the roaches the military has been hunting are just normal beings it is the mass implant that alters the soldiers senses and makes them look like inhumane monsters this is because the higher class people look upon the roaches as some disease ridden poor and unintelligent beings Katerina also reveals that the green light device used on stripe was built by her friend to mess with the implants to make the soldiers see the roaches as their real. Cells I.E. humans the roaches are victims of a genocide justified by the military as genetic cleansing damn I didn't expect my Hitler joke to hit so deep a stunned stripe asks why the Ville villagers hate the roaches despite them having no such implants Katerina responds that while the locals see the roaches as humans they still treat them as inferior due to propaganda. Turns out that 10 years ago the government ran DNA checks all around the world which changed everything people with genetic predispositions to illness were categorized as roaches which was a campaign set in motion by television and internet media unfortunately as the two continue talking Raymond tracks them down the two roaches try running away but they are immediately shot and killed this traumatizes Stripe and he breathes heavily as Raymond walks up to him while pointing her gun at him she then demands an explanation for his earlier betrayal but Stripe who is still in a state of shock and remorse keeps murmuring to himself. None of this is true sadly this only puzzles Raymond and she knocks him out with her gun in the next scene Stripe wakes up in a white walled cell crouching in the corner soon Arquette pays him a visit and offers him coffee he also apologizes to Stripe for failing to catch the glitch in his neural implant sooner the psychologist then explains that the green device he found in the farmhouse was reverse engineered by the roaches from some of the military's drone parts the light in the device transmits a code which is like a virus it burrows into one's mass and tries to shut it down from within however Stripe calls everything a lie and insists that the roaches look just like them Arquette acknowledges it but also claims that the roaches are dangerous he then adds that humans are genuinely empathetic as a species and this is why creatures like the roaches are taking advantage of them following this Arquette gives the example of World War II during which most soldiers didn't fire their weapons or if they did they would just aim over the heads of their enemies on purpose in numbers. Only 15 to 20 percent of the soldiers would pull the trigger the fate of the world was at stake but only a small fraction of them fired Arquette comments that the war would have been over a whole lot quicker had the military grown some cajones and did their job because of this the officials had to figure out a way to work around humans natural empathy as many soldiers were afraid to kill Arquette reveals that mass alters soldiers senses such as smell and sound so that they can kill without hesitate remorse he then shows a video evidence where Stripe consented to the memory and sense altering effects of the mass procedure it turns out that after Stripe was implanted with the mass all of his previous memories were erased 
Furious Stripe attempts to attack our cat but the latter uses the implant to blind him the cunning psychologist then offers him two choices Stripe can either allow the military to reset his implant wiping out his memory of the past few days and this very conversation or to be incarcerated forever initially Stripe chooses to be incarcerated to help him reconsider Arquette plays the footage of the first mission in his mind. However in this footage Stripe sees the real events that unfolded without the alteration of the mass system he witnesses himself brutally murdering and stabbing normal people which he then saw as roaches. He also learns that the roach that had escaped from Stripe's first mission was actually Katarina as expected the footage breaks Stripe from the inside and he eventually decides to wipe out his memory of the past. Few days in the last scene Stripe now a decorated officer leaves his base and approaches a house he has tears streaming down his face as he smiles and watches the girl from his dreams walk towards him from the empty and dilapidated house damn black mirror you scary. This brings us to the end of the movie, I hope you do like it. And please do like and subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications icon for more videos like this, as we going to be bringing you more of your favorite movies. Thanks for watching and see you soon.